Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos. Hey what's up YouTube this is Wasi here and in this video I am going to show you how you can make a professional looking LinkedIn banner or cover photo using Canva. So let's begin the video. Here I am on my laptop and currently you can see my LinkedIn profile and here I have my cover photo or my LinkedIn banner and this is compatible both with desktop and mobile phones so you're going to open the free website which is called canva.com and in this website you can make any kind of visualization graphics or anything like that for free so we're going to use this website to make our linkedin banner i have already made a template uh, banner for you guys so you, that you don't have to worry regarding the banner size its compatibility with mobile phones or desktops and so on so you're just simply going to go to canva.com and you're going to click on the sign up button if you don't have an account but if you have an account you're going to log into your account once you have logged into your canva account you're going to click on the template link that is provided in the video description and it's going to open up this template so first of all let me tell you what this template is all about so where you see the green zone basically it means that you can add graphics text or anything like that and in the red zone you should not add any kind of text because it's going to be cropped out either in the mobile version or in the desktop view so you're going to type things or add things in this whole area that you can see right here you're not going to do anything in this red zone so you should be careful of that now the second thing is that you're going to look for any design so there are basically three things i think that should be present in your linkedin banner that is going to make it unique and more professional the first thing is that it should be simple meaning that it should have less font but more meaningful font the second thing is that it should be relevant meaning that you should add taglines or something according to your role or your feed and the third thing is that it should be clean meaning that the text colors the background colors and the contrast should complement each other rather than you know making it cluttering and unable or hard to read so you should keep these three things in mind keep it simple keep it relevant and keep it clean so on canva if you don't know this is the place where you actually make your designs and here is the place where you can find all the designs text elements and so on so currently here we are in the template section you can uh, add any kind of element you can add text you can add any branding or if you have certain files that you want to upload you can upload from your pc google drive and so on so we're going to stick with design for now the first thing in the template is that you're going to click on the add page button and you're going to have this blank template now from in the templates on the left side you're going to search for any template that you want like in my case i'm just going to type for tag because i want to have a template for our programming profile again you can search for any kind of template a lot of templates are free on canva so you're not going to select the templates which has the pro one because these are paid so from the templates you can find anyone for this example i'm going to select this one and the first thing is that you're going to remove any picture if it has because linkedin has its own picture so we're going to remove these extra things by just by clicking on them and clicking on backspace on the main text i highly recommend that you either add your name any role or anything that is relevant to your field for this example i'm just going to type my name and in the tagline uh, I'm just let's supposing that I'm a backend developer so I'm going to type backend developer and if you want to align the text either right or left you can see you have all these things on the top side so I can do left right or middle alignment you can change the font size the font color and so on so again it all depends on you and your creativity so I'm going to select both the things and I'm going to drag and drop them to the left side of the banner again it's totally up to you and if you want to add your number you can do so but if you want to only show your email you can do that as well like for an example email select both of these elements as well and i'm going to drag and drop them on the lower side as well so you can see that the banner is pretty much clean now it is showing my name it's showing my field and if you want to add let's say any code regarding your field you can do so like for programmers it can be eat code develop and so on if you are a social media marketer you can type any kind of terms regarding to your field so now what the next thing is that let's add some icons so from here we're going to go to the element section and here we can type anything like coding 
or code again that is relevant to your field so here are some elements we are going to see it says graphics so we're going to click on see all and here are all the free and paid graphics that are available so you can select any graphic that is relevant to your field like this one you can drag and drop it over here you can change the colors by going on the top menu and you can resize it as well according to your needs so let's say that i'm happy with this one and let's say i want this graphic so i'm going to change its color to white so that it is more visible and if you want to change the opacity of anything here on the top it says transparency you're going to go to the lower number it's going to become more transparent let's say that i am happy with this cover and now you want to make sure that this cover is compatible both for the desktop version as well as the mobile version because on the mobile version your profile picture actually moves to the right side and if you have placed it wrongly then it's going to cover some contents of your banner so for this you're going to go to the main uh, template that i have provided click on this unlock page icon click ctrl c to copy it go to the second page ctrl v to paste it go to the transparency and reduce its transparency and from here you're going to make sure that the elements that you placed in the original banner are not on the red zone so you can see that this icon is in the green zone my whole name my uh, subtitle or my tagline is in the green zone even the email and so on so i'm sure that if this banner is placed in the desktop version or in the mobile version it will not be a problem again this guideline or this template is basically a guideline to uh, align your icons accordingly so once you are happy you can click on the delete button to remove the main template and now if you want to save it you're going to click on the share button you're going to go to download and from here since this is page number two we are going to select page two only press on done and click on download so it's downloading our linkedin cover photo and if i open the downloaded image you can see right here and now you can easily upload it onto your linkedin profile and it will work perfectly all right with desktop and with the mobile linkedin version so yeah guys in this way you can make a linkedin cover or banner photo professionally on canva for free if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so i have made videos regarding linkedin as well you can check them out in my channel other than that thank you for watching and as always stay safe